Welcome everyone! I've been using this headphone amplifier for a few months now. It's a, a very inexpensive Chinese headphone amplifier. It's a Sabaj PHA1. Um, inexpensive, but the build quality is really good, all metal, and the sound is really good for the price. The only problem I have is the gain of the amplifier is too high for my uh, with my headphones, uh, Sennheiser HD triple fives. Beyond 50% volume, it's brain melting loud, so I rarely go past 25% volume. The problem is this amplifier uses a potenti uh, dual potentiometer for the volume control, and even with good audio quality potentiometers, at very low volumes, it tends to the the tracking between the left and the right channel tends to be quite bad. So you start cranking up the volume, and then, for example, the left channel will start going up, but not the right. Then the right will catch up, and so and it's it's annoying. Since I generally like the amplifier and I like my headphones, I don't want to change them. The only thing I need is a lower, uh, a lower signal um, in the input of the amplifier. So today I will build uh, a step attenuator to reduce the amplitude of the, signal, uh, of the signal coming in the amplifier. This is the circuit of the s uh, signal attenuator I want to build. Um, very simple circuit, basically it's just a voltage divider with multiple taps. So this is the signal will be coming from here and will be divided by the voltage divider. Then with the three taps, I can choose the three volumes I want. And then the output will go to the amplifier. This is only for one channel. So the design is replicated for both channels. And by testing uh, with the volume and my amplifier, I found that with a minus 20 dB uh, reduction of the input signal, I could use the, the amplifier at maximum volume without being too loud. So this is the, the best attenuation to use the full range of the volume knob. Then I wanted to have a, a lower attenuation, so if I have a very low signal for some reason, I can crank up the volume a little bit more. And for more uh, control, I also want to have a bypass to get the full uh, signal. The switch will, I will use is a rotary switch uh, that controls both the left and the right channel at the same time. A step attenuator is just like a potentiometer, but with stepped values. The reason I didn't use a dual potentiometer to reduce the signal is that I would have the same problem than the potentiometer on the amplifier, which means that I ha at high atten attenuation, the left and right tracking could be bad. So instead, I'm using high precision resistors to, con to have a very good control between the left and the right channel. So the tracking should be really good. And the total resistance is around 10K. Um, the the, real, the the exact value isn't really important, but around 10k range generally is 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 good. So let's build it. The main part of the attenuator is this rotary switch, which has two pole and three positions. The first well, there's one pole here and one pole here, and each has three position. And since it's quite big, uh, the resistors will be soldered directly onto it. Uh, so let's build it. I've now placed the resistors for one channel on the on the switch. So this one and this one is the are 4.7 k's, and the third one, which will be connected to ground, is the 1 k. So I will solder them, and then I will replicate on the second channel, and after that, I'll be able to put it in the box. Thank you. 
this is one pole completely soldered. Um, I left two leads hanging. The top one will go to the signal input and uh, this one will be to the ground. And the output is this lead on the switch. So I'm going to just replicate uh, this on the other side. The only tricky part is it's actually symmetric, so I must not uh, confound them. The soldering of the resistors on the rotary switch is done. So we have one channel over here, another channel over here, and the grounds will be sold connected together, and the output of both channels, and the input of one and the other. So the next step is to solder the 3.5 millimeter jacks for the input and the output uh, and install them in a project box. Here is the schematics of the 3.5 millimeter jack I'm using. So a 3.5 tip ring sleeve has three connectors, the tip, the ring and the sleeve. The tip and, and the ring are the left and the right channel signal res respectively and the sleeve is the common or the ground. Uh, in my case, uh, I don't care which is the left or the right, I just have to make sure all the signal for the left doesn't make, get mixed with the right, but I do need to make sure the sleeve is the right one. So even on the, on the connector itself, we see that the chassis is connected to this pin, which probably means that it's also the common or the, the sleeve. And if you see here, the C is the, the sleeve and the C is the third connector at the top. So we're good. We can now start soldering the wires on both connectors and then doing the final uh, soldering between the, the switch and the, the jacks.
test the ad generator, I'm currently generating a 440 hertz sine wave signal in stereo from my computer and it goes into the input of the attenuator and we're going to measure the amplitude at different attenuation on the output. Um, so first let's hear what it sounds like. So I just plugged in my headphones so I hope you can hear the, the signal. And now we're going to measure the attenuation or at first let's measure the frequency to make sure it's working on both signal on, on both channels so on the right channel we've got 440 hertz and the left channel 440 hertz so everything seems fine so let's measure the amplitude at 0 dB so no attenuation we get 1.58 on one channel and 1.58 on the other at minus 5 dB 0 0.86 0 0.86 volts and at minus 20 min 0.15 and 0.15 so the attenuation is working as expected and also both channels are tracking like uh, we want so everything works just as expected and perfectly thanks for watching i hope you liked this build of a stepped stereo attenuator and uh, i'll see you soon with uh, another project